prepping out silver and copper for a monk megami billet. This is one of the copper sheets. It's got a little blue lamina on it. Okay. You gotta peel that off. And then this is what the sheeting looks like in water. Okay, and there's a little bit of beading. So we're gonna clean that with simple green and scotch bright until it doesn't bead. And sheets off. So this is the copper after a lot of scrubbing with the scotch brick. And we're going to dip it in our initial rinse to show sheeting. And then in the secondary rinse. And again, clear sheeting, nothing's beating on the surface. And the copper behaves differently than the sterling. And then there's a third bin of distilled water. So these are all distilled water at different levels of clean solution. And that's what the metal looks like as it sheets up. Set it down on the towel. Okay, so this is the sterling silver sheet that's gonna get dipped in the water so you can see what the beading looks like before scrubbing. Okay, pretty clear beads. And then we're gonna clean both sides again with the scotch bright and some simple green. Okay, so this is the sterling silver, and it has been cleaned with a simple green and scotch bright. And this is what the sheeting action looks like after you've scrubbed the surface, where there's not a lot of bead formation. Different from what we saw before. So again, cereal dilution, rinse both sides, spilled water. So we go to the next bin. So this is the torque plate assembly. We're going to coat it with light out so that this billet will fit within the torque plate assembly. And then we'll all get clamped down. So this is the white out painted onto the torque plates with the stack of mocha made right there. It's going to get dropped in between the bolts and then tensioned. Okay, so this is the stack. Take a ruler and put it flush to the edge to make sure that we have one side justified flush. Okay, so when you're trying to get the alignment, a lot of the time you've got to get in there with either a wrench or a ruler that'll allow you to justify the edge flush. And you do that before you take down the nuts on the top of your torque plate. And you'll have to spin it. And if there's any play in the bolt assembly, that can shift your entire uh, Mokume slab. So it's important to get close. Oh, no thank you. And once you get it close, um, then you're going to very gently take down the nuts so that your torque plate doesn't slip. Then add the remaining nuts and tighten it down further. So here is the other side of the torque plate. And you can see, again, we've got good, good indexing on most of it. But this bottom sheet doesn't quite line up. And that's okay. Plates are tightened under the hydraulic ring, and we're looking at that much pressure, but uh, the wrench tightening seemed to have made no effect after the hydraulic piston pressure was there. Alright, this is the tool wrap going around the Megane torque plate, which is right in the center there. 
and then this whole section gets filled with charcoal and then closed up. This is a mokume in the kiln, just glowing. So that's going to come out and then get cut open for the activated charcoal and load it into the press. So the plan is to transfer from this kiln over to this workstation, remove the activated charcoal from the wrap, and then bring it back over to the anvil, placing the top die onto the torque plate and then onto the bottom die of the torque plate, uh, pumping with the hydraulic press, and then bringing it to 8,000 PSI. Let's make some magic happen. So we're gonna grab the tool wrap with the tongs, grab them right by the crumpled corner, got a firm grip, straight up to the pot, set it down, Close the kiln door, and then we're going to trim off the sheet as best we can to get access to the charcoal. And you're like a mechanical crab, where the tongs are allowing you to grab, and the shears are allowing you to cut.
stop it. Then we're going to try to gently remove the top ram. Place that back on the heat insulated block, grab the torque plate, and this will get loaded back in the panel. That's it. Okay, so second pressing brought us down to about a third of an inch from um, 0.475 inches, and then taking the torque plate apart. Removing the top end, the nuts have already been removed, and then pulling out our billet, which was stuck between the uh, bolts from expansion, which you can see here, and there. Get that in and so that is our Mokume billet plus. So we're just setting it on the anvil to cool, and we'll come back and turn off the ends.